Hey everybody, it's Chris Sev with Sourcegraph here. Today I'm excited to announce Cody for VS Code version 1.20 is out. And this is a big release because it comes with new chat UX, better ways to edit and choose the context that you're working with. It comes with intuitive ways to retry prompts, which means you can edit the prompt that you wrote. You can try a prompt with different context. You can try a prompt with a different LLM. Lots of good options there. And we're also adding experimental support for open CTX, open context, so you can bring in more context sources into your editor. Let's take a look at all the good new changes. So here I have Cody open. I'm gonna open up a file, a chat form here, which is a React component. And what I'll do is open up a new chat. So let me open up a new chat. And the first thing you'll notice is that the chat box moved to the top of the window. So this is going to be where it lives and you can see the LLM dropdown now lives here. And you can see that there's two context sources here. There's the at S0, which is the repo that I'm in. So you have repo context and you have the file context that I'm in right here, which is chat form. So that means you can explicitly see what context we're looking at when we are asking questions to Cody. And before this would be like a magical thing where it would just go search everything. You could at mention a file, but now it's explicit. You can say, oh, maybe I don't want that chat form. Let's delete that. And I'll just ask question directly to the repo. Or if you want to add it back, you can at, and notice that you'll have different options here. We'll add files. So I'll just say chat form, and we can bring that right back. Another cool thing is that while I'm in this file, we have at chatform.tsx, so I'm using this file as context. As you highlight, notice live updating of those lines that we will use as context. If I scroll down here, just jump over there, 14 to 21. I'll just do all this right here. And then we can ask a question specifically to this repo, to this file, lines four to 12. And I'll say, what do these props do? So after you ask your initial question where the chat box is at the top of the window, you'll see the answer right here. We pull context as you would expect. And down here, we have a ask a follow-up. So the next input box is gonna be at the bottom. And the reason we're doing this is so that you could come up here, you can actually retry the prompt. So let's say we wanted to do Claude 3 Opus instead, and I'll run that again. And there we go, we're able to change out the LLM here. We could even edit the question, we could change out the context. Cool, so you can notice like Claude 3 Opus is a little slower than GPT-40, but that's okay. Seems to do a great job at answering. And the next thing I wanna call out is the ability to retry a prompt if the answer that you got isn't exactly what you wanted. Down here, we can try again with different contexts. And we have buttons pre-built directly here so we can do public knowledge only, which means we're not gonna use any context from the repo itself. So we're gonna remove repo context. We're gonna remove this file's context. And we'll just ask the LLM as if we were asking Claude 3 Opus. We could redo this with current file only. And you could even add more context so it comes back to the top and say, oh, maybe I needed a little more context. Let me also add chat form read only, which is a different component, same style. That way you can retry this prompt, different context, and get the exact answer that you were looking for. I think this is a really powerful thing because sometimes you would get an answer and it wouldn't be exactly what you wanted, so you'd have to like start a brand new chat, add new context again, and do that again. But now it's all in the same window, all in the same flow. Another thing you'll notice is that you can give feedback on if this answer was good or bad. And again, if you wanna ask a follow-up question right here, we can say, what are the types of the props? It'll go ahead and answer, and you'll see the conversation continue down below. And again, you could always go back up, edit this, edit this one, and you can see your conversation happening, and it's editable at all stages. We can scroll down, see our full conversation, try again with different contexts here again, and so that's kind of the new UX that we have here that gives you more control over context, gives you more control over retrying prompts, and I hope you like it. The last thing we'll talk about in this video I'm also really excited about is OpenCTX context providers, and that's open context, which is an open standard for bringing in external context 
into your editor. So this could be things like Jira tickets, Slack messages, the linear issues, Google Docs even, Notion, and you can start to see how there's a lot of information about your code that doesn't actually live in the repo itself. You can pull context from other sources and ask Cody questions about context that lives anywhere. If I start a new chat here, I'm going to add context and you can see I added two OpenCTX providers here. One is Sourcegraph Search, one is DevDocs. So let's say I wanted to add Sourcegraph Search and I'll say use memo. And I wanna learn more about use memo. So I'm just gonna tell Sourcegraph Search to go search for any repos that have use memo in it. And really for this, I just wanna talk about use memo. So I'm gonna delete the file context and I'm gonna delete the repo itself. How do I use use memo? So that will do a source graph search. And if we look at context, it pulls from these repos. It looks at the JetBrains repo. Interesting choices there. Okay. So that wasn't exactly what I wanted. I wanted more of a React thing. So let me actually update that. I'm gonna say at source graph search, React use memo. Great, so now I'm specifically searching for React Cloud3 opens it. Well, let's go to GPT 4.0 and I'll run that query again. All right, let's see how context works here. Refine dev, free code camp. Not really the repos I was looking for. I was hoping for a React, Facebook React, but it got the answer good anyway. So it was able to search those repos and provide a good answer there. And the last thing that I have installed here is at DevDocs. And this is cool because if I am searching for like a tailwind thing, let's say I wanted to search for background size. How do I apply background size to an image? And I have context here. It looked at tailwind background size and dev docs is a place where it pulls in documentation from lots of different projects. So if we scroll down here, auto, BG Auto, BG Cover, BG Contain. So it answered it perfectly using Tailwind's docs itself. All right, that's a lot to go over. And I hope you enjoy this release version 1.20 with the new chat UX, new ways to edit and change your context, and new ways to retry prompts with changed context. And something I'm really excited about, open context. So check it all out, read the blog post, and happy coding.